Hey guys, Shubert here again with another video from Terra Online. Today we're going to be talking about crafting. So this guide is actually going to be quite big, so I decided to split it up into two sections. The first section is actually on gathering slash extraction, because obviously before you start crafting you need to have the materials to do this. So if you have not seen that video, I would recommend you go see it first, and you can click on the bottom left of the screen now to go to it. If you have seen it, on the other hand, then uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So. What is different in Terra Online than other games when it comes to crafting? The first thing I'd like to point out is that there are actually six professions. And the good thing about this game, which sets it aside from other games, is that you can actually get every single one, all six of these, on the same character. So you can have them all on your main. I'm going to have them all on Sheephead, and I'm going to be making bear monies all the time, and all this stuff. But, you don't have to make alts, and that is the best thing. In other games, the main reason I made alts was to get more money by using other professions, but I actually don't have to do that here, which is amazing. The only downside, everything is fucking crazy expensive, so basically you do not want to take all six and level them up as you're leveling, because that would just be insane. One, you wouldn't have the bag space, and two, you'd be poor as fuck. So, what I recommend is that you just take one. You take, say, for example, alchemy. And you use that until you get to top level, and then you come back and do the rest. Obviously, if you want to keep the materials you get from extraction, or keep the materials that you get from gathering, then keep them and put them in the bank, because the bank in this game is fucking huge as well. So you're all good there. So, as I said earlier, there's actually six different types of crafting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you them on screen. I'm actually going to show you what you can make for each single profession. So now I'm actually going to show you the tooltips and the examples of what you can create. As you can see, the gear is actually really fucking good. So it's obviously one of those things where crafting can actually get you better gear than stuff that drops in the instance and obviously stuff which you get from quests. So even if it doesn't, in specific cases, you can still use the gear because it's the same tier as the dungeon drops. And that means you can use it to enchant the gear to higher levels. So I can definitely see crafting being something that is really worthwhile if you're trying to get them plus 12 items. So now that I've shown you what you can actually make with the crafting system in Terra, I guess you're going to want to know how to do it. So, the first thing we need to do is actually head to the vendors, and they are in Velika, as per usual, where everything is. Velika actually has its own little section for crafting, which you can see here on the map. So this is broken up into five different circles, and each circle actually houses two of the vendors. For example, one has the weaponsmith and the armorsmith, another has the leather worker and the tailorer, and the other one has the alchemy and the focus crafting. To be honest, I don't really know why they have uh, five of them, but whatever. So, the way that crafting works in this game is, is split up into three steps. The first step is that you need to buy the pattern slash design for the item that you want to create. The second step is to gather the materials for the item that you wish to create. And the third one is to actually create the item itself. So. As you can see here on screen, you actually have to go to the design slash pattern vendor. Once you're there, you can see that he has a massive list of the items that you can create. Once you've bought and learnt one of these items, you simply have to go to the second step, which as I said earlier, is find the materials. So you can do this by gathering or extraction, or you can go to the auction house and buy them, which costs a fuck ton of money, which I would really, really not recommend doing, because that's how I lost all my money. <laughs> so don't do it! Once you have all the items, you have to obviously go make it. So, this is the crafting workstations, and this is going to change depending on which professions you are doing. So, for the weaponsmith and the armorsmith, you use the forge, as you can see here on screen. For tailoring and leather working, you use the sewing table. And finally, for focus crafting and alchemy, you use the alembic. I hope I'm saying that right, because I've never heard that word in my life. So, if I'm saying it wrong, then, I don't know, that's how I'm going to call it for the rest of my videos ever. So, enjoy it. So, once you've found the one that you need for your specific profession, all you simply do is interact with it. As you can see here, I've gone to the forge, as this is a weaponsmithing example, and it comes up with the weaponsmith and the armorsmith, so obviously I'm going to click weaponsmith. So, as you can see, once you do this, it brings up a UI element, which is basically shows you three things. It shows you the patterns that you have learned already on the left, if you click one of those, it will actually show you the items that you require to make that item on the right. And finally at the bottom we have the progress bar. 
So basically, all you need to do is, once you've acquired the materials needed for the item, simply just click create. However, if you need to create more than one, you can just click create all, and it will use all the materials in your bag to make as many as you can. Or if you just want to make 10, you just type in 10 and click create. Okay, so one thing that's really cool about Terra is that you actually get bonus items when you create an item. And this is not 100% chance, I don't know the percentage, but it happens sometimes. So, when you're leveling up your profession from zero, you'll notice that you actually get new designs every so many levels, as you can see here on screen. The first tier of items is from level 1 to 50, and the materials stay the same for any pattern within those. If you then move on to the next tier, which will be 50 to 100, you actually have to use different materials. So when I'm creating level 1 to 50, I can actually proc this bonus item, which will actually be a material for the next tier, i.e. 50 to 100. And I think this is great because it means that obviously you want to level up your thing, you don't want to stay static with your levels. So whenever you create something, you actually can get bonus materials for the next step. So, another thing that I noticed, which is kind of cool, I'm not sure if this happens across the six professions, but it definitely happens for weaponsmithing. The axe that I created is not enchantable, which kind of sucks, and I was like, well, I've just made this axe, and it's not that great, and I wanted to enchant it, but now I can't. Which kind of pissed me off, but then I noticed the next pattern down in the line to level up my weaponsmithing was the same axe, but it's a tune. So basically what this means, I can tune the original axe and then it therefore is enchantable. This basically just further backs up that if you can find an item which is good in the crafting system then it's definitely worth getting because if you don't want to farm instances and try and get that drop then this is the best bet, you might as well take this. So another thing that actually goes hand in hand with both of these obviously is enchanting and I'm going to be doing a video very soon on that. I'm waiting for open beta because they've kind of changed some stuff with it and I want to wait till then. However, if you want to look at some more tutorial videos or terror footage in the meantime, then head to my channel. And yeah, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys soon. I can feel